ever create paper. G A C D, give a dick, don't data. H O P E, whole city, fuck haters. Try and say I ain't the best out. Ask me about my journey, I promise I took the best route. Two months after the con, manager got locked up. What's going on guys, it's Garrett, and today we're guys a video on how to create your very own shield letter logo. So this is probably one of the easiest tutorials I'm going to be doing on lettering and uh, logo tutorials. So uh, the pretty much the only thing you guys are going to need for this is Photoshop and Illustrator, and we're going to end up with a final product, something like this on the screen. So uh, you guys can definitely tape this to the way you guys want to, you guys can see right here, I've been doing different logos, this one's for a company called Unique, I've been really working hard at this, this is a really big pain to do, and uh, this is what I've come to after doing this. So everything comes down from about two layers and it's pretty much Illustrator and Photoshop. So you guys will need Illustrator CC but I know a lot of people do not have Illustrator itself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be leaving a PNG download in the description of, where is it, oh it's gone, of a shield, we'll be making it right now but of a shield. And uh, this is just so people have it and they don't need to go out of the uh, the worries of making one. So definitely go in the description and download it if you don't have Illustrator because you want to learn this before you do anything else because it's a big help. So we're going to hop right over into Illustrator and we're going to go and grab the first arrow. So uh, what I did before I did this is I clicked the rectangle right here under the line tool. I just made a rectangle in the middle of the screen just so I can have something to work with as my shield. You guys want to make it as tall as you guys want and as, as width as you guys want. And then you want to grab right here in this bottom right hand corner of the little circle. This is so you guys can round out things. So what you want to do is pretty much hit the selection tool and then highlight both of the bottom ones and then bring them inwards so they go around. So the next thing I'm going to do is pretty much zoom in and then look into the bottom right here and see anchor. So uh, you want to grab one of your pen tools and it's pretty much, i got to figure out which one it is. Yeah. Pretty much just take your pen tool and click right on the anchor and it should round it out. So you guys have that. So believe it or not, this is as far as we're going to go in Illustrator. You guys can do other things. You guys can take your selection tool of go like this you guys can uh, mess around you guys can bring this up a little bit something like that but this is as far as we're gonna go with this I know we only did half of it there's a reason behind that and we'll go right into Photoshop and look at that so what we're gonna do is save this as a let's just say a file of AI and save it as a shield and hit OK so uh, after that's done saving hop right into your own Photoshop and open up your shield AI and it should paste right into your screen like this and it should cover up most of the screen. So what I'm going to do is just take it and shrink it a little bit like this and move it to the center of my screen. So the next step you guys want to do is go and zoom in. So it's pretty much filling up most of your screen. Not like that but like this. Taking your rectangle polygon tool or whatever you want to call it and ooh, go from the bottom or go from the bottom down. And pretty much just cut it straight in half like that. Hit Control J on this, edit, transform, and flip horizontally. So, a lot of people were probably wondering why I didn't make the other side in Illustrator, and that's because for some reason I cannot figure out how to do it. Like, I don't know what's with me and the right side of the shield, but it, it just never seems to go like that. So, there's probably a reason behind it. I'm not learning, but um, definitely do the way I'm doing. This makes it more, uh, more, I guess you can call it perfect. So, you guys can definitely cut this in half. You guys can definitely shave the top if you guys want and then I'm gonna go right here go to blending options and make a color overlay of white make a new layer put it below it and put it black so uh, in the description you guys can download this shield itself right now you guys will just get the PNG no background it be color white and then you guys can pretty much start off the tutorial right here so we're up three minutes in so uh, the next thing I want to do is pretty much I want to just duplicate that hide that layer just want to do is Make a new layer. Excuse me, don't make a new layer. Right click on the new uh, the new layer with your color. Go to stroke and put a inner stroke in. And this is pretty much how wide you want your logo to be width wise. I usually work, like working with even numbers, so I'm gonna use 80 and I'm gonna hit OK. So after you're done with that, you're gonna go under opacity, it says fill, and just take your fill and put it down to zero, which pretty much put no background in between this logo at all. Next step you want to do is hit Control J and then just take your second shield and just make it smaller center it put it in the center as you guys can you mess with that a little bit make sure it's at the same 
with. It's going to take a little bit of messing around to get through. So you guys have that. So well, the next thing you guys definitely want to do is pretty much definitely size this the way you want to. Maybe that's a little bit too... Hmm. I think we're good here. So definitely size it the you guys, you guys, oh, that's what I'm sounding like right now. Definitely size it the way you want to do. And uh, we're going to go right back into this. So you want to do is make a new layer and hold shift and click the second stroke layer and just hit merge layers. And you're pretty much set there. The next thing you want to do is pretty much make your letter out of this. So if you have, let's just say an A, you want to just duplicate this and hide the bottom one just for you in case you mess up. But you want to take out the middle like this you want to take this top bar so you can highlight the top bar hit control J bring it to the bottom and you got a letter A like that so uh, I'll go through the letter B as well just in case actually I'll go through the letter G because G is my name so what you want to do is duplicate your layer make sure you have an extra one just in case mess ups happen and you have to restart so I'm gonna cut mine pretty much in half right about here and I'm gonna take this middle bar so I pretty much just deleted it Took this middle bar hitting control J and I pretty much have my G. So if it's a little out of hand right here, it might look like a little out of hand when you guys are zoomed in or zoomed out too far away. So if I zoom in, it's back. So I'm just gonna merge these two layers, get it out of the way. So uh this is definitely the easy thing to do. You guys can definitely take this to other ranges, but uh there's not we're not done yet. There's other stuff we can do. So if we merge these layers, you guys can make a new layer, click back on your shield and hold control. And pretty much just out, like overlay this. Go to right here on the pen tool, right click and make. Nope. Go to this polygon tool, right click and make work path. And what this does is pretty much just takes it and makes it like you would in Illustrator. So then you can take your pen tool, right click, and then just fill it with the color of white. So I definitely do not like doing that just for some reasons because it does make it a little choppy on the sides, but. It definitely rounds out some corners a little nicer than others. And also, if you guys want, you guys can make a work path upload in Cinema 4D. So, uh, this is definitely a really easy tutorial to do. It does not take long at all, and it's very effective. You guys can add your own, uh, excuse me, you guys can add your own layer styles onto it. You guys can also do other things. So, what I'm going to do is actually merge these layers and go to my stock pack and add this one in. Put that right about here hold control and drop it down and then put this to like soft light maybe even screen yes yeah, screen take my eraser and lower my opacity maybe overlay so you guys see how I'm just messing with effects it's the way I do it it's the best way to do it and put it on overlay overlay is fine maybe go back to my stock pack you guys can totally mess around with this these kind of things you guys you're pretty much infinite on what you can do in the designing community and designing world. So, put this on screen. I should put that and keep that on normal. And move this up here. And you guys can even have your own iPhone banner. So, excuse me. This is a really easy tutorial to do. It does not take long at all. And it's very, excuse me, I'm burping a lot. Very, very effective. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely leave a like and uh, make sure to comment below. Excuse me if you have any tutorial suggestions or what you guys want me to do for 5,000 subscribers. So before we end this video, I'm actually pur purchasing a webcam to make my tutorials more professional. Also, if you guys want, I might be doing cut comms on Xbox and stuff like that every like once a week or something. But I'll still be doing these tutorials as as, as well, and I'll still be doing my uploads as frequently as possible. So if you guys want that, let me know in the comments below. If you guys have any cool ideas for 5,000 subscribers, let me know. Also, I'll be doing a giveaway for about 5K, and it's going to be either a keyboard or a mouse. I am not too sure what I'm going to be doing a giveaway on, but um, definitely leave a comment below in the description or in the comments below. Definitely tell me what you guys want me to do rather than me just figuring it out myself. So, uh, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a comment and a like, and also help me get to 5K by subscribing. I'm really close. I'm only 500 subscribers away. I could probably get that in about a month with you guys. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any, uh, any problem with doing this, let me know on Twitter. Let me know in the comments. Let me know on Skype. I will definitely help you out with this. It's really easy to do, and it's not that hard, but it's very effective. So, uh, yeah, 
that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to download that shield in the description if you cannot make one or if you're too lazy to make one because I'm probably one of those people I would rather just download it than make it. But yeah. So uh, that's about it. So I'm out, guys. Peace out.